So the new Samsung Galaxy S21 Unpacked event is now among us. Today I want to do a quick run through and what to expect for the Samsung S21. I'm going to run through the specs, the design and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 release date and its price. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So I don't know about you, but I am super excited for the new Samsung S21 Unpacked event. Apart from the iPhone, it is a lot of my viewers most looked up phone on my channel as well. This year, like last, we're going to get three new flagship Samsung Galaxy 2021 phones. Unless you've been living under a rock, you will know the official name for the three phones are the Samsung Galaxy S21 models. So just before we begin, I would love to know from you if you currently own a Samsung phone or had one before for this video. Let me know below and hit that like button at the same time. Cheers! So let's do a quick recap of what we expect at the Samsung Unpacked 2021 event for the design for the S21. This year from the leaks we have seen of the new Samsung Galaxy S21 models, it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Normal and also the S21 Plus are going to have a very similar design. In fact, I'd argue that the S21 Plus is basically just a larger version of the standard S21. With looking at the design of both these phones, the S21 and the S21 Plus look like we're going to get the same camera layout on the rear and on the front screen it's going to be a flat screen as well and both of these models also have that hole punch camera in the middle top. It also looks like from recent leaks and also from a teaser video as well that for both of the Samsung phones we're going to get bold new colours and also some mixture of colours as well and this is a welcome change this year. What I mean by this is for example the frame and the camera module on the rear is going to be a kind of a gold colour in one example and it's going to be mixed with kind of a light purple as well. But as I mentioned, I do believe both these phones are very similar to each other and just the Plus model literally is going to be the Plus model. It's just going to be a slightly bigger version of the normal S21. Moving on to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, things do change a bit. For example, on the rear, we have a glass back and we also have the camera module that looks bigger than the camera module on the S21 and the S21 Plus. I believe this is due to the extra five lenses we have on the rear. On the front though, we do have from the look of the phone a hole punch camera on the very top middle. What again is very small, however there were rumours that we were getting an underscreen camera, but this isn't going to be the case on the S21 Ultra. We'll probably have to wait maybe to the Note 21 Ultra for that. Other noticeable changes compared to the normal S21 and the S21 Plus is we also have a curved screen only on this model design. From what I can tell on the design of the S21 models, there isn't also a slot for an S Pen. There's been leaks and rumours going around that the S20 models will have the ability to use the S Pen, but there is no slots, as I mentioned on the phones. However, we have seen ideas that a case could go on the back of the S21 phones that can hold the S Pen and maybe with the use of reverse charging, it would charge the pen. We've got to remember, for example, on the latest Samsung Galaxy S tablet, there is a place where the pen can magnetise to the back of the tablet and also charge it at the same time. Moving on to prices next of the S21 series, they've been recently revealed on a Belgian mobile carrier site. And to be deadly honest with you, I'm probably going to stick with those prices as they've probably been the correct ones. So starting with the prices of the three models, they start at €849, €1,049 Euros, and €1,399 Euros, respectively. The smaller two models have 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, and this is for the Galaxy S21 and the S21 Plus. Then 12 gigs of RAM and 256GB of storage on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Regarding the release date info, as we know, the Samsung Unpacked event is on January the 14th. 
However, Samsung already kicked off its pre-order reservation program in the US, offering a number of credit bonuses for trade-ins and early registrations. The final date for users to get their orders in is January the 28th, 2021, suggesting the phones will be available in late January, early February for general consumers. In the past, from what I remember, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and then also the S20 FE, the phones were available on the day after when pre-orders stopped. Also, the fact that Samsung normally releases their phones about two weeks after their unpacked session. So if history repeats itself again here, then we're looking at January the 29th being the date when we can get our hands on one of the S21 handsets and that will be on a Friday and that's only a couple of weeks away when this video is being made. Talk about that unpacked event that Samsung packed unvent on January the 14th 2021. It will be beginning at 10 a.m. ET time or 3 p.m. GMT or 8.30 p.m. IST. I'm also going to be doing a live coverage for this event and I'll be putting something up on my channel in the moment for this or it could already be there by the time you're watching this video. Either way, the info is going to be on my channel. So next then, for the specs of the three phones. So then, starting with the Galaxy S21, it will be the smallest and cheapest handset coming out and it will feature a 6.2 dynamic AMOLED 120Hz display and this display will feature a resolution of a 1080p panel. For camera setup on this phone, we've been told we will get a triple camera lens setup and it is most likely we'll get the punch hole selfie camera in the screen again, but it'll be really small this time, looking at that latest leak we saw recently. It is said the Galaxy S21 will be powered by the new Snapdragon 888 or 8888 or even a Samsung Exynos 2100 chipset. We have also been told that we'll get 8GB of RAM inside this phone and 128GB of storage. However, there is no confirmation yet if this will phone will have an SD card slot. For battery size, we're expecting again a 4000 milliamp battery and the phone to have the ability to charge at 25 watts with a wired charger. The next phone is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. Again, not many features have been fully revealed about this phone, but we know we're going to be getting a 6.8 inch screen. And again, that will be a 120 Hz AMOLED LED panel. Again, it will share that same Snapdragon 888 or Exynos 2100. And we've been told we'll get a triple lens camera set up on the back of this phone, very similar to the Galaxy S21 normal. And this will feature a 64 megapixel, a 10 megapixel, and also another 10 megapixel camera sensor set up on the back. The battery size now is 4,800 milliamps as well. What is an increase on last year's S20 Plus model? The final phone is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and this phone will feature a 6.9 inch display and again will be an AMO LED panel and we've been told the resolution will be 1440 by 3200 and that will give us a 511 ppi or pixel per inch. For camera setup, we're not too sure if the S21 will be the first camera phone to actually have an underscreen selfie camera and the recent leak did look like it did have an actual another punch hole camera in the very top but it was very very small we have also seen in a recent leak that there's going to actually be five lenses on this new camera setup but we do know that one lens or one sensor will be the second generation 108 megapixel sensor inside it Again, we'll be getting that Snapdragon 888 or the Exynos 2100. We'll be paired with 12 gigabytes of RAM. For storage, the phone will start at 256 gigabytes of storage. However, we're not sure again if we'll get an SD card slot on this phone for expansion. However, we probably will because normally Samsung do put in their top end flagship phones, what they release, an SD card slot. For battery on the Samsung Galaxy S21, we've been told we'll be getting a 5000 milliamp battery again and charging will be a 45 watt charger um, inside and that will be a wired charger. Well guys, those are my personal thoughts for the new Samsung Galaxy S21 models, but all will be revealed at the Samsung Galaxy S21 Unpacks event. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a live coverage and the details will be on my channel to join that. 
Well guys, it's time to wrap this up. If you've enjoyed this video, please do press the like button and don't forget to also press subscribe and hit that bell notification to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons. Until next time guys, see ya.